fun. Did um uh, did what? I like, feel like we gotta give props to Aljo. He he still gets a lot of hate, man. He, he doesn't. People don't like him I, as a champ. He's got my respect, and he does. He has a pretty good resume when you look at. It. <laughs> pretty good. He's you know the best bantamweight of all time at this point. I mean, he's the guys he's beat. Yeah. Um. So you're you're willing to say he's the best bantamweight of all time right now? Yeah, I think you look at the prime Dominic Cruz, who people consider one of the greats. Yeah. I think. I think the prime Aljo right now beats that Dominic Cruz. Yeah, I agree. Um, so I, yeah, I think I think it's pretty clear. I think it's pretty obvious. Honestly, beat T.J. Dillashaw, just beat Henry Cejudo, who was out for a while. Um, you know, one, considered one of the goats. Uh, was considered. Uh, yeah, I think Al Jermaine's the best bantamweight of all time right now. And I get to go out there and put his lights out. What's yeah. that make me? That makes me the best fucking lightweight of all time. Lightweight. You know what I'm light saying? Heavyweight. Yeah, well, like heavyweight. Weight. That's what I meant to say. Yeah. Of all time. That's exciting. I'm glad that it's you t- get that it's opportunity. Fit. It's not official. It's unofficially official. Yeah, and he, he said September? No. There he is. There we're live. Is. Come sit down. Boys, we're not live, but we're live. Hi, Helen. Nice to meet you. Brother, there he is. We're not live, but we're live. You know what I mean? Um, we were just talking about. Uh, I think Al Jermaine's the the greatest bantamweight of all time, considering his resume. I think he beats. I think he beats. You know, prime Dominic Cruz. Who uh, who would else be considered the the greatest bantamweight of all time? You can jump Op- right into this. What what are Opinions? your thoughts on that? Man? Thoughts. Well, <laughs> well, it depends on the PED conversation. Where does TJ Dillashaw fit in that equation, too? I mean, TJ beat Cody Garbrandt twice. Who? Who's like everyone else has beat him? Um, who else did TJ beat? Hennen Barrow, which was a big one, but that was right after Usada, so I don't think Hennen was the same Hennen. Um, I don't know. I, yeah, I kind of forgot about TJ. I just and Cody, he beat him. Yeah, but so did everyone else. <laughs> you know, but also he the EPO shit. Yeah, definitely plays a role. Definitely plays a plays a. Cush, chill, bro. So you got Aljamain number one. I do Dominic right now. Number two. Yeah, I would, I would say that. And then I think John it's just number a, three. No, I think it's just a that. different game nowadays. Like then when Dominic was was running through people, the bantamweight division is just so much more stacked now for Aljo to be champ as long as he has been. That's it is impressive. impressive. I do think he lost the first round of fight to Peter, which everyone kind of did. But the, what he did when he came back and beat Peter again kind of offsets that. Yeah. So I don't know. And so Shmo, you're you're friends with Henry. So who do I saw you guys do a pod? You used to do a podcast. Do a podcast together. Yeah, absolutely. Shmo's friends with Henry Cejudo. Friends with Aljamain Sterling. Friends with this man right yeah. here. Love the bantamweight division. Absolutely. What would you think of the fight? Do you think it was a Sterling win? You think Henry could have pulled it off? In real time, I scored it for Henry. Same. Really. And then rewatched the fight that night, and I scored it for Aljo. Really? See, I, I have Close. a feeling that everyone is saying that when they watched it home, they thought it was from Aljo. So I'm I'm thinking I may switch over. But real time, I'm like Henry won, but I also was not confident with the judges ever. So, and then I know one of the judges gave Aljo round five, yeah, which I was thought was pretty odd. Because if that judge would have gave uh, Henry round five, Henry wins that fight. So which is crazy, crazy to think about. Just yeah, you got to put people's lights out in this sport. You really do. Closest round was round two. You guys think? I have to go back and rewatch it. I have to yeah. go back and rewatch it because round one was definitely Aljo, I think. And yeah, I'd have to go back and rewatch it too because I only watched it that first time. Mm. Yeah, but yeah, we were so we were just recapping the night. 